Cycling is made out of suffering and reward. Like a lot of time you climb and then you go downhill. You climb and then you go downhill. When you go up to Haleakala, there is no reward for a long time. You're just going uphill from sea level to 10,000 feet. And you know, you want to stop, you want to take a break, but then you're like, no, a few more paddles, let's go. You know, you're almost at the top and you're never at the top. You think about giving up, but you just don't. I never thought I was gonna be into cycling. To be honest, I used to think cyclists look funny. I never thought I was gonna be like the guy that would be wearing tights. Once you do it yourself and you start understanding and feeling what they feel, it takes a minute to fall in love with it. But once you do it, it's like there's no way out. Maui is one of the best places on earth for cycling. A little bit of every weather. Go to a tropical area and then we can go up to Kula and be in like somewhere that looks like the Pacific Northwest. And then you can hit west side that's kind of like deserty, hot. It can be hell and absolutely insane. But cycling has a sick way of being completely meditative. You really become part of what surrounds you. In a way it requires the same focus as taking a still image. The level of being the present moment that very few things in this world have given me. The moment, that's what it's all about. My friends start to get a little annoyed with me because I'm always sending them links to bikes for sale on Craigslist. But I really believe that there is so much the bike teaches you. Beyond the roads, it teaches you about yourself and who you are as a person. I'm proud to be one of those people you see riding around in tights. It hardly makes me feel normal, and I don't think I'll ever stop.